trying to join us. We are experiencing a little technical difficulty for whatever reason. I keep dropping him off every time he tries to call in. I love you, Jay. Keep trying to call back. And we have a fantastic guest um, with us tonight, uh, Mr. Steve DeChevy uh, from The Dead Files. I know you've all been really looking forward to that. Hey, Steve. Hey, Jody. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm good. My eyes are back to normal, so I'm better now. <laughs> <laughs> Live from sunny Florida, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I lived down in Fort Lauderdale forever, so I know you are so happy to be out of New York and loving it down there, aren't you? I am, except that uh, defensive driving takes on a whole new meaning down here. You know, it's funny, but you thought it was defensive <laughs> out of New York until you got down there. Yeah, I I know oh. it. I know it. Oh. You know, it's funny. 
I grew up, you know, I, I lived down in Miami forever and people, you know, then I moved to Atlanta and people were bitching about the traffic in Atlanta, how bad it was. And I said, yeah, wait, at least, you know, people will slow down and let you in, in Miami and every, <laughs> like in Tampa, they just uh, speed up and flip you off there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was, uh, much. you know, I love old people, but Jesus Christ, they just, um, they don't look, they just go. So you got, you really got to, you really got to be on the lookout for like, you know, they just pull out. They don't care. You know, it's like, hey, I'm I ninety. Know. I can give a shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going wherever the hell I want. I did my time. Wait, <laughs> just wait, just wait. I had one in um, a no, no lie. I, I lived in. I swear, it's like uh, uh, not to, not to throw around names. Like it's like Newark, Hallandale. It's like the armpit of South Florida. I had one old lady slam right in the broadside. And then uh, at another point, I had one rear end me. You know, they they really don't look. So you, you no. really have to look out for them. You just, you know, they'll just drive right in you, and then they'll say it's your fault. But they'll just slam right into the back of you if you don't get the hell out of the way. It's so it, it, true. It does, yeah, it keeps you sharp, though. I tell you that. It does keep you sharp. It does. It does. And poor Jay, he is trying and trying to call in. Keep calling, Jay. Um, every time oh, what he happened? calls. I see it. I see his number light up on the board, and I try to pick it up. And as soon as I hit the button, it knocks him right back off. And Jay is calling in from New York, um, you know. And I am actually just past New Orleans. I'm over in Baton Rouge, so. Um, oh, okay. And I didn't have any trouble picking you up at all. So um, no. I don't know why I keep kicking Jay off, but I know he's going to keep trying to call in. And so. Um, Steve will star as as our as my lovely uh, co-host for a few minutes until we get Jay until we get Jay <laughs> I can here. Do that. And yeah, and it'll be equally as ex- as explicit. I'm sh- I'm sure that you guys have all come to know and love from us. But um, I, I I love it that I love it that Steve's one question of the day was, "Do I have to watch my language?" And I was like, "Fuck no, we don't do that here. That never happens." Oh my god. So um, yeah, we usually. We usually start off the show with a couple of weird news stories. And, um, you know, one of them tonight, you know, Jay picked out and one of them I picked out. And so um, the first one comes from um, one of my favorite, uh, very credible news sources, The Mirror. And um, I don't know if you follow The Mirror or The Huffington Post, but (laughs) I usually like to find my stories there. And um, Jason's new story usually comes from someplace really like his comes from spirit science and metaphysics or his will come from the Smithsonian or someplace, you know, less credible than mine. But um, (laughs) my story is sex can make your brain work better, you know, according to scientists. And, um, you know, a study has shown that there's a connection. Yeah. I mean, did you did you know this? There's a connection between your intelligence and your sex life. And, um, you know, we've got a very, we have a lot of female listeners out there, and I would be willing to bet that tonight (laughs) with you on, Steve, that uh, probably a lot of the ladies are really tuning in. And I was very excited. I was so excited about being on the radio with you and Jason that I cracked open a, you know, a Blue Moon beer and I broke out a box of Good and Plenty at the same time. Wow, you went went, went crazy. And that was kind of crazy for me. You know, I'm, I'm hitting the sugar and the beer at once, so that was a lot of excitement over here. But um, anyway, you know, with the male audience that we have, we usually do try to, um, you know, I knew that they would like this story. But um, <laughs> hey, you guys, there's a connection between your intelligence and your sex life. So apparently keeping active under the sheets can keep your brain active for longer and it appears that a good sex life can delay the onset of dementia in the elderly. So, did you? Know, I didn't know, but hey, if that isn't some good, uh, you know, hey, I get have to on. Start working people. on that. I'm, you better work. You and me both, Steve. I better get on that shit too, because I'm not getting any younger, you know. <laughs> and. Uh, the test by the Dutch, the Dutch researchers were into elderly people found that a greater interest in, um, you know, greater interest in um, 
see already this is a problem. You can see that I'm losing my mind. So um, greater interest in sex <laughs> correlated with greater brain activity and intelligence at the you know the age of 71. And in addition, they had better memory, processing speed, higher intelligence, and general cognitive functioning. So um, the scientists say that if, you know, Gran is living longer and seems really smart, like she's really with it, she's probably having more sex than you think. So, you know, ah. if Dana's really, really on it, hey, she might be a, you know, happening old girl and really getting <laughs> into it a little bit more than you think, according to scientists. And they're saying – it makes you more intelligent at a younger age, too. And some studies from Italy actually back this up, that people who have sex daily were more likely to increase nerve growth in their brain. So, uh, and I'm all about, you know, getting more, um, you know, neurological you know, conduction between the right and the left hemisphere of your brain. I'm really into meditation, Steve. So, um, Are you? you know, I love the yeah, yeah, I'm really into that. So um, it it has changed my life. Yeah, I I used to work um a corporate job. I worked for the, all the big cosmetics companies out of New York. I was a corporate trainer. And I traveled all over the country doing that, and I found that daily meditation it really changed my life. I, I was under so much stress, you know, all the time. You know, it's really high pressure. It's big business, and um, you know. And I was working with both my hands, you know, teaching, you know, makeup artistry. And, um, you know, you become more ambidextrous. And uh, it, it really helps your thinking process when you can forge new neurological connections between the right and the left hemispheres of your brain. And certain types of meditation really help with that. But listen, people, if you don't like to meditate, people who have sex daily are also more likely to increase nerve growth of this type in their brain. Now, what if you mix the both? What if you meditate and have sex at the same time? Is, is that like you get double, double, you know, the other? You know, it doesn't say anything about that, but, you know, this makes me think maybe a little tantra, you know, tantra sex, right? Right? That's what yeah. I'm talking about. I like where you're going with Steve, I like where you're going. You know, I have a book about that. I want to, I want to get that out and get back into that. But um, I like where you're going with this. So you guys might want to consider that a little tantric sex. You can incorporate meditation. It's very soulful, and um, you know, think about what that's going to do for both your sex life and your brain. But um, hey, they're also saying they did similar research with, you know, of course, animals, mice and rats. And the University of Maryland showed. You ever notice that, you know, in the U.S. they're talking about mice and rats, and in Italy they're talking about people that have sex daily. You know, they they're really doing different, you know, different tests depending upon what country you're in. Um, but rodents having less frequent sex uh, showed lower mental performance. So. Listen, people, sexual interaction, it's very helpful. So if you stay up all night having sex before work, just tell your boss that it's backed by science. You're becoming a genius. That's why you were you I love that excuse, you know. You were working on something. You're trying to get smarter. So, you know, while sex maybe isn't going to get you a doctorate, it can make you perform better mentally. So, Hey, I like this. What do you? I, I wish I wish Jay was on. I know I know he would definitely have something to say about this. Um, Jason, try to call in. I know he's he'll try to call back he, in you know, again. He's, he's he's meditating right now, looking for somebody to have sex with. That's what he's doing. He is. In fact, <laughs> oh, he says no one can hear. Hang on a second. I'm actually getting a message from uh -huh. um, Annette. Hang on a second, saying that. Um, we are on the air. Let's see what the problem is here. No one can hear. Um, let's see. I'm sending out a message real quick here. You mean we've been talking to ourselves? I don't think so. I'm finding out. I mean, I know we're broadcasting through Blog Talk. It looks like everything is up and running okay. It looks like it's recording okay. Let's see. I'm going to check on. Um, hang on. I'm on the blog. I'm finding out what the problem is here. It's running. 
we shouldn't be talking to ourselves. Um,